Good morning punters, it's Connor 500, Tuesday morning. We've got two more days of racing before the Christmas break. Ugh, how long is this bad run gonna go on for? In my experience, it's gonna go on a little bit longer than you think you can handle it. A lot of people are gonna be getting to the point where they're thinking, oh, I need to bloody win today. I'm due something today. Do you know what? Gambling is so brutal. You're never due anything on any day. You're due your long-term margin, but trust me, the day-to-day -day is going to be so brutal and it's going to make you think, oh, I'm going to go back to my old strategy. And your old strategy, most people's strategy is they're going to try and eke out tiny profits, sell back a few favourites, short prices. They'll do their money in such a way that they can get a little bit of profit and walk home with it. Guys, I've monitored thousands of betting accounts. It was me that decided whether to keep betting accounts or lose them. I know who's going to win. If there's anyone out there who knows who's going to win, it's me because I've been there and I've done it. And I know I'm going to win. I'm the best. There's no challenger out there for me. And I, across the whole of the internet, there simply is no challenger out there for me. Um, sorry, but we've got a lucky 15 today. Stick with me, guys. I promise you. I promise you. We've got a decent lucky 15 today. Maybe it's going to win. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Four horses. Keep it brief. Seven to one in the 12-20 Plumpton. I've got a 50 each way single on that. First race of the day. We're having a single on it. It goes back to a lot of people say, don't back the early kickoff. And why do they say not to back the early kickoff? They say it because they want to keep having fun later on in the day. They don't want their fun to be destroyed. Guys, we're not here for fun. We're here to make profit. And if the first race of the day is the best race of the day, there's nothing we can do about that. We've got Douglas talking 11 to 1 in the 12.30 air. We've got half track 11 to 2 in the 140 air. And we're finishing off with Forever Lady 11 to 1 in the 325 at Newcastle. We've also got the double on the first race of the day. Keep it brief from Forever Lady. Guys, that first race of the day might come last. And you'll be thinking, oh, I shouldn't have had so much money early on in the day. Forget about it. Stop thinking like that. You need to think, I'm going to just go in on the best ones. Who cares if I lose today? Guys, like I've said before, if you need to stake £1 on my selections, while you stake £10 on everyone else's for now, until you've had a few months, until you can work out how much you're going to make off me, then do that because I'll still be here in six months. I'll still be here. That's the bet for the day. I've got quite a busy day today, actually, because that football syndicate that I do a bit of work for, they do like they do like a little party a couple of times a year. So we've got we're going out first for a bit of darts and to do a few other things, and we're going to a steakhouse after. So I'm looking forward to it. I appreciate the work they've thrown my way. I do because they first gave me the work in April. And April was a bit of a difficult time, so I appreciate them offering me it. And I like doing it a couple of times a week. It's just for football, and that's why I never mention football on here. But I hope you have a lovely day. Guys, keep strong. Keep strong. Keep your faith. We're going to win. We're going to win. This, this may be, for a lot of people, their first winning 2022. If they follow me and no one else, this may be their first winning 2022. And I will tell you all this now. If we lose on this channel, or if we make less than 5%, if, if this channel makes less than 5% in 2022, there's going to be a £5,000 competition.